Hello, I hope you enjoyed working with a few examples. Now I want to go back to your new world, um, get, get out of these examples and we start fresh new world. By default we select this uh, grass, uh, um, grass ground, okay. So we are back to the back to the, uh, um, the basic uh, Alice interface here and I want to focus on the scene setup. In programming in Alice is very similar to taking a movie, okay. Uh, so to take a movie here, uh, the part of the movie, we have to do the scene setup, right. So let's go ahead and do a scene setup. And uh, typically this is how it will appear, right, the gallery of objects when you click on the odd objects and then click on the animals. Let's see, let's select a nice animal, cow. Okay, so click on the cow and uh, the uh, cow is added there. Let's browse some more. How about... Uh, okay, let's go with penguin. Okay, so we have two animals there. Okay, so again they kind of look funny here because they are kind of touching each other or at least it looks like that, right? It's a 3D environment, they are not really touching each other but it looks like that, that, that may not be the scenario how you want to start. So that's where all these controls come in. You know, so here you have a lot of controls and you can uh, make the scene setup as uh, clean, as ready as possible to take the movie, you know. Uh, remember, when you are taking a movie, let's say you are taking a particular uh, segment, uh, you, you want uh, before you want the everything to be ready before the camera gets rolling, right? So exactly same thing here. Let's see, let's, uh, let's move this guy a little bit left. Let's uh, move the penguin right, okay. So this type of movements you can do. Again, as I said, this is a 3D environment, the picture is, but we have only the 2D kind of controls, right? Because it's, it's a little bit harder to manage that. We, you can drag and you can push the animal back, that will kind of go back. See, you can see, you can, uh, you can uh, send it back. And this also you can send it back, but it's a, um, but not up or down. See, I am just uh, pr pressing and just moving back the cursor. So if I bring it front, you can see it comes uh, to the front, right? See, I am just uh, bring uh, dragging to the front, meaning I am moving the mouse from top to bottom, clicking, pressing it down and. Uh, and moving the mouse to the mouse down, that brings the object to the front, okay, closer, okay. Uh, that's not much control, so that's where all these extra controls come into play. See, this guy, this is a default one, the arrow says, see that's why it's uh, pressed in. Now this one is up and down, see. You can take the cow, now I press turn up, so you can uh, lift the cow, okay. So you can bring it down. So when do you know it's on the ground? Well, you can see the uh, its uh, legs are starting to go in, right? Its nails are starting to, uh, toes are starting to go in, right? Foot rather. Um, so um, just if you want to leave it on the ground, you know, like that. So if at all you want any object to be above ground, you can do that too, right? So you can select, you can see this guy's in the sky now, you know, all that, okay? So that's the control, up and down, just like what it says here. This is left and right, rotation, okay. So let's say we want the cow to turn and see the, our friend, okay. So you can turn like that, you can just press and turn, you know, as simple as the very easy controls. Just to press on the object, select the object and just to, uh, keep press and drag basically, okay. Um, let me go back here and just move this guy out a little bit. Now let's turn and turn around. You know, so click, turn so that it can see the cow. Okay. This one is uh, forward and backward. We don't need it generally. 
but uh, it's there if you need it okay so you can see the forward and backward uh, i can press and uh, go back to go backward it goes and if, if you move the mouse forward move the mouse down it comes uh, forward okay um, this is a kind of combination of that in you know, a combination of the turns typically i haven't found it useful the that one because it uh, makes it uh, quite complex actually uh, resize you can you are welcome to play with it resize let's see select it let's uh, click on this guy and pressing and just to making it uh, moving the mouse up okay so okay they are a bit too close to each other now let's move it out and uh, move a little bit to the back okay so now it looks like uh, these guys are ready to do some action right and this is a little bit more advanced the last button is a little bit more advanced is copy object and after clicking you can just press on any one to clone the existing objects okay so for now we won't need that so let's go ahead and undo okay so so these are all the kind of uh, scene setup controls so by doing all this uh, we we have our scene really ready to do some action okay um, and you can see after adding all the objects you know cow is here penguin is here i expected this penguin tool to go away um, that seemed to be a bug it should go away because we don't have the penguin too um, maybe let's delete that okay so it was really penguin 2 was there okay so once you have the scene setup done then you can press uh, done button here so then you come back to this coding area this is one of the very important detail you have to remember uh, sometimes try, students try to write code when you are in this add objects view when you click on the add objects here we have only the object gallery they can they don't have access to the coding area okay um, so press the done button again to see the see the um, uh, original view okay so that is about the scene setup there are a few other ways we can do the scene setup one is to do from here so you can uh, you can uh, press on the select the objects here you can select objects here you can also select objects here you can right click and do some activities move turn resize and all that oops um, the similarly the pair, any object you can right click and do various type of movements but typically it works out to be a little bit harder than what you can do here okay what you can do using this uh, add objects view there okay so using these guys it's a little bit easier um, there are times maybe some tiny object you want to work with then here you can do right click on that object and uh, work with that okay um, thank you